Hey guys, it's Taylor Starr, and I want to do a hooping tutorial on shoulder hooping, and I wanted to do a series of shoulder hooping tutorials just so I can show you guys um, exactly how to get the hoop from your waist to your shoulders, and then how to just keep the hoop going from shoulder hooping, and then also vertical shoulder hooping. Um, I want to also try and show you some some transitions and stuff on top of that going into that. So starting with this, you obviously need to be able to hoop around your waist and then go from there. Hooping around your waist, um, we're going to put our hands in and finding the holes and there's a natural hole that's created between your body and the hoop and that's where you're going to put your hands in. It's just the same as when you're doing this and you put your hands in here. There's a natural hole. Um, in the beginning, you're going to probably look down. It's always, if you hoop to the left, it's always going to be easier to put your left hand in because when you hoop to the left and you put your right arm in, the hole is going to be behind you, so you're not going to be able to see it. So starting from here, we're going to start with our left hand first, and we're, we're going to just stand in one place and hoop on our waist, and we're going to put our left hand in. Put it in and take it out. Once we do this, we're going to spin. Once you're comfortable putting your left hand in, you're going to spin and put your left hand in. What you're going to notice is that when you spin and you put your hand in, the hoop tends to slow down. So you can keep your hand in longer. So now you're going to try and put both hands in. Not at the same time. Go in one at a time. So All this is doing is getting you to know where the holes are in between your body and your hoop. And this is really, really, really necessary. This will help you with so many other tricks. This does not just help with shoulder hooping, it helps with everything. Okay, so once you get this down, we're gonna do the same thing we did with our left hand. We're gonna hoop in a circle and put both hands in. And remember, the hoop's going to slow down, so your arms will be able to be in the hoop a little bit longer. You can also put your hands behind you. So, once you get this down, this is the next step. Your next step is going to do deal with, if you hoop to the left, you're going to once again start with your left arm. You're going to put your left arm in and you're going to shrug your shoulder. Don't put, don't penguin it and go like this because that's not what you're supposed to do. Keep your hand relaxed and just shrug your shoulder and kind of over exaggerate it because if you over exaggerate, the hoop's going to move up your arm. So. Start at your waist, and you're going to stick your left arm in, just like we were just doing when we were finding the hole in front of us, and you're going to stick your arm in and shrug your shoulder up. So we'll do it again. You're going to have the hole in front of you, stick your arm in, and shrug your shoulder up. This is the motion. As soon as it comes and hits the back of you, you're going to shrug your shoulder and it'll move the hoop up your arm as it's coming in front of you or opposite when it hits the front of you you're gonna shrug your shoulder so
so now, now you should be able to shrug your shoulder and have it move all the at least halfway up your arm. When I first started doing this, I wasn't able to get the hoop to come all the way above up to my neck. So you go from there and as soon as you put your left arm in and do your first shrug, you're gonna put your other arm in. So so this arm goes in and the arm comes up. Your left arm goes in, you shrug your shoulder and put your right arm in. So you're not putting them in at the same time and doing a penguin. You don't want to do that. Because essentially what happens when you put both arms in at the same time and do this, you forget about everything else. So you think that this is going to do something and it's not. You have to shrug your shoulders. Don't put your arms out. Putting your arms out is just going to stop the hoop from moving in a circle. So, left arm, shrug, right arm, shrug, shrug. So, and it's over exaggerated. It's super over exaggerated. And if you need to do this while you're spinning, that's perfectly, totally normal. It's really, really common. I'm pretty sure that I learned how to do it when it was spinning. Everything's easier when you spin because it slows down the hoop, it gives you more time to put your arms in, especially if you're using a baby hoop like this one because this is tiny. The bigger the hoop on these is typically the easier, but the heavier it is, the easier it's going to fall. So hooping, and we'll, I'll show you how to do it while you're spinning. So you're going to spin the way your hoop is going, which will slow it down and give you more time to put your arm in. So left shrug, right. I'll show you from the front so you can see this way. So, left shrug, right arm shrug. Left shrug, right arm shrug. It's a quick, quick motion. So, and this will get the hoop up to your neck, and then you can start learning how to get it, get your arms in and out, and all that. So, correct. I hope that this was helpful. Um, I'm going to put up another video on actual shoulder hooping as well. I just didn't want this video to be super long. So now you guys can focus on that. Hopefully that works for you guys. Um, this is going to take a while. Um, it took me a very, very long time to figure out how to shoulder hoop and how to get it from my waist to my shoulders or to my neck and it's frustrating to say the least. Um, but all I can say is keep doing it and eventually it'll come to you. And this was the one thing that helped me the most was the shrugging of the shoulders um, because it that's the next step into actual shoulder hooping so all right you guys hopefully this will be really helpful for you guys and if not please let me know so i can take it down so it doesn't confuse people thanks guys